Today we are going to answer your cruise Q&A questions. Kayla says, hey, what are some uh, some tips they have for making friends on cruise ships? Well, that's good for, a good question, Kayla, because um, I don't make friends. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are going to answer your cruise Q&A questions. We asked on our YouTube community tab what your questions are for cruises, whether you have questions about cruises that we've taken, cruises, the cruise that we're going to take, or just cruises in general. We got a lot of questions and we love answering them. We love cruising. We have been on several cruises. We have a lot to say about cruising and we want to share it with you. So we've asked each one of our family members to join in and answer three questions. Now, if you want to get in on the next group of questions, a Q&A, or just connect with us even more, be sure to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and you will get all of the notifications whenever we post on the community tab which is quite frequently and then you'll get all the notifications for all of our videos so let's jump right in what's up y'all it's brennan do you guys have some cruise questions so one of the questions was do you guys always swim on the cruise and um actually no i don't think i went in the pool on the last one i think i probably went in the pool once usually pretty packed the pool is like somewhat small but i like to swim like at the beach and stuff Okay, what's happening guys? Uh, these are my three questions in the cruise ship Q&A. Uh, you guys cooked up some good questions, so I'm here to answer them. Uh, number one is from Chris. He says, do you have an all-time favorite cruise ship? I'm talking about the aesthetic of the ship, the atmosphere, the food, the people. Is there any particular ship that knocked it out of the park? Yes, absolutely we do. It's the Disney Magic. We've been on it three times, I think. Yeah, three times. Uh, we love it. We have a little statue of it, or we have a little... Thing of it. I think we have an ornament of it too. Uh, it's a fantastic ship. We love everything about it. The size, um, Disney does great, great things. But we really haven't disliked any of the ships we've been on. I don't think. Hey guys, I'm walking with Elise. We're walking back to Sally, my dorm, um, in the rain. But it's not really raining. But like this guy can't really decide like what it's doing. So I'm just gonna answer a question for you guys. Um, what my favorite meal on a cruise has been. And I actually have two answers. My first one is. Um, New Year's Eve, we had lobster this year, and we each had four lobster tails, and it was the most delicious meal I've ever had in my life. Like, it was so yummy. And then I was, like, full, but since it was lobster, it left me feeling, like, fresh and full, not, like, gross. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. So, there's that. And then also, every morning for breakfast, I always get smoked salmon with capers and mm. cheese. Do you like smoked salmon? No, but... That sounds like a refreshing but it's a, breakfast. Yeah, it is a refreshing breakfast. So pancakes. Right. And so, and it leaves you feeling fresh and full, <laughs> not fresh and gross. So, yeah, those are my favorite meals. Elise likes escargot and molten lava cakes when yeah. she goes on cruises. Okay, this is a great question from Matthew Sue. Matthew writes, hey, what's your favorite part about going on a cruise? And um, I'll tell you, it's really... Well, here's my least favorite part is getting off the cruise ship. Uh, not fun because you're already done. But the best, one of the best parts is going um, on, the, getting actually getting on the ship, the little bridge that goes across because you've got so much to look forward to. And, uh, and unpacking into the room, seeing the room for the first time. That's really fun. Um, overall, it's just a great experience and I highly recommend it. And the first question that I'm going to answer is from Nick Farrell. And he says, how do you guys make the most of your time on a cruise? I feel like there'd be so much to do on this ship, I wouldn't have time to get to it all. Nick, you are um, singing my tune. That's exactly the way I feel when I go on cruises. So you would think that I would hate them because it's just too much and it gets too overwhelming and too stressful. I absolutely love them because there is so much to do. Um, it is hard for me to, to relax though. I definitely don't relax on a cruise unless we're like at dinner. Like if I'm somewhere and I know I'm gonna be there for a couple of hours then I can relax and enjoy. But like when I'm laying out at the pool, I'm always anxious because number one, I feel like I wanna vlog. Number two, there's always like a magic show going on or salsa dancing lessons or something going on at the pool. I, I wanna like see what's going on. Um, so for me to just relax on a cruise, it's, it's pretty hard. You kind of scan through the activities in the morning and think, oh, I wanna do that, I wanna do that. So we do have sort of an idea of maybe at least one thing that we wanna do each day, whether it's silent disco, or we wanna participate in the putting contest, or we wanna make sure that we go to dinner at the dining room that night because it's steak night or whatever. So you really have an app that you can look at the activities and they also give you like a newsletter in the, the night before for the next day. So that 
that's how we sort of decide what it is we're gonna do. Uh, do you guys swim much on the cruise ship? Cruise pools always seem kind of small and packed. And yeah, it's weird pools on cruise ships. You have to have them, but also like the sea's rocking so much, so they're always like really down on the ground, and it's not. Right. Whenever I do like games in the pool, though, like I'll be in chuck and volleyball or you know, whatever they do. So swimming on cruises, yeah, usually hot tubs are the go-to um, on cruises for me. Wasima uh, asks, "Hey, what's your staple? Something you pack or have to eat when you go on a cruise?" Oh, so uh, Jill was just saying to our, our friends that are coming along, you "Gotta bring a, a cordless um, speaker." So it's just nice in the room when you're changing or getting ready or waking up in the morning to have music. And they don't really have, well, they have a TV that's got music, but it's really the quality of the sound's not great. But if you bring a little mini speaker, I uh, highly recommend that. So it just changes the whole vibe inside the cabin. Uh, so I would say bring a Bluetooth speaker and your phone and you've got like a, like a mini stereo system. I really recommend it. Um, another question was, do you prefer sleeping in the rooms that have the, the view, like the outside rooms or the inside rooms? And that is a good question. Um, if we weren't on a cruise and it wasn't like time sensitive, then I would prefer the inside rooms because there's no windows and it's like a cave. So I could sleep all day, but like that's the problem because I don't want to sleep all day. Like I want to be able to wake up early so that I can like start my day on the cruise instead of like wasted all sleeping. I agree. At least agrees. Another question that we got from Wasima Khan, and I think Mike might have answered this question, but I'm going to answer it as well in a different way. So what is a staple, something you pack or have to eat when you go on a cruise? Mike talked about what he packs. I'm going to tell you what I like to eat. A staple when I'm on the cruise is, or any cruise, it doesn't matter what cruise I'm on, I always eat smoked salmon for breakfast because I can't do it anywhere else. <laughs> I don't don't keep smoked salmon at home. I don't go out to breakfast generally. So on cruise ships, they always have smoked salmon with capers, a little bit of cream cheese, a little bit of red onion, a little bit of um, chopped up hard boiled eggs. So bar none, hands down, every morning I have smoked salmon on a cruise. And it's one of the things I look forward to all the time. Another question I got was, would I ever consider going like on a uh, Alaska cruise? like? somewhat chilly and so somewhat tropical and i would say yeah 100 percent because we went out to iceland that was one of the coolest things ever and i think taking a boat through like really cold place a lot of glaciers and snow and stuff would be like absolutely beautiful so yeah alaska is definitely on the bucket list all right here's a here's a great question from kayla kayla says hey what are some uh some tips they have for making friends on cruise ships well that's good for a good question kayla because um i don't make friends and um, I'm not good at it. So uh, I would say the kids do a good job of making friends because uh, they just start, they get, go to the sports areas and people are playing basketball and that kind of thing and they make friends that way. Um, I um, don't like people as a general rule, so <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We make friends at the pool and at the bar and uh, I think generally people's attitudes are friendly and, uh, and outgoing in the cruises. So it's, uh, it's relatively easy on a cruise ship. My favorite meal I've had on a cruise is probably uh, there was one Disney cruise we went to like the fancy restaurant and they had like this like I think it was ribeye steak and like mashed potatoes and asparagus and it all just like blended so perfectly together just the one bite with all all three in it so gas so yummy and uh, that's got to be the best meal I've had on a cruise for sure. So someone asked for advice for friends on a cruise. Do you make friends when you go on cruises? Yeah, well, last time I went on a cruise was like when I was 12 and I went to like the little club thing in the middle. The kids club? Group and then left. Okay, that's how, you sh that's how you should do it. And I never went back though. Right, yeah. So if you go, go to the kids club. If you're a kid. Yeah. Um, meet all the folks. Get a little friend group, then dip. But it helps if you already have a friend with you because then you guys can make a friend. Or siblings. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but if you don't. Honestly, like everyone's looking. Everyone's for friends. looking for yeah. friends. Like everyone's doing the same thing. So just honestly, just like introduce yourself. Um, but I can't say that because I never do it. I always make Brennan do it for me. Um, <laughs> That's but well, you guys are close in age too, so that helps. Yeah. Um, but also, like, don't force it. You know, like, don't feel like you need to be hanging out with them twenty four seven if you don't want yeah. to. Um, because it's your vacation, and their vacation. But honestly, everyone's looking for friends, so yeah. just go crazy. The Belieber, <laughs> the like Belieber, like the like the Justin Bieber fan. Uh, they say, uh, what part of the boat do you prefer to sleep in, uh, or 
like what room I'm guessing. And they say one's with a view or one's without a view. One's without a view, if you go in an inside room, it's really nice, it's like a little cave. Like you're gonna get some really good sleep in there. When you wake up, you're not gonna know what time it is, obviously. Like we had an inside room, uh, the kids did on our last cruise. Hey Edward. I slept till like 12, like every day. Uh, but no, sleeping with a view is better because there's nothing better, especially if you're in the Caribbean, actually if you're anywhere. You're waking up, opening like the curtains or like walking out on your deck and seeing like the new place that you're in. It's so much fun. Sleeping on cruises is just amazing because they always tuck your bed in really tight. I love when they like squeeze you in the covers and then like the rocking of the ship rocks you to sleep and it's just fantastic. Anyway, waking up and seeing the new place that you're in is always so much fun. Uh, those are my three questions. I hope I answered some. I hope you gave, I gave you some insight. And um, I'm really excited about this next one. Let's do it. It's from Stephzilla. She asks, is this, is this a cruise you paid for or was it gifted? Pretty sure she's referring to the cruise we're going to be going on tomorrow. This is a paid cruise. We've paid for all of our cruises except for one. One time we were gifted a cruise from Disney, which was like the highlight of our life, other than the, our Adventures by Disney um, Iceland trip that we took. But we were gifted a trip by Disney in 2018, where we went for a five-day cruise out of Miami, similar to what we're doing now on the Disney Magic. Um, but for as far as all of our other um, vacation cruises, they have been paid for by us. Comment down below if you guys have any other questions or if you would like to know anything else about cruising um, or if there's anything that you'd specifically like to see us film while we're on the cruise. A lot of people said they wanted to see us filming our dinners because they're so much fun and they are so much fun. So we'll be sure to film our dinners when we're on the cruise. But why wait until we're back from our cruise to watch Donnelly Cruise videos? We have a whole playlist of all of our cruises right here. So take a peek at that. You'll get to see ship tours, room tours, and crazy antics like, I don't know, when Brennan went to the emergency room on the ship Ship, um, when Katie got so sick that she couldn't go to dinner and when <laughs> when Ryan went snorkeling with his iPhone in his pocket and completely lost it that was awesome so thank you guys so much for watching check out this playlist we can't wait to see you when we get back and happy cruising thanks for watching be sure to thumbs up and subscribe see you later